So it's, it's entirely accuracy. Um, as I've highlighted in the old method, it comes with quite a bit of variability in terms of um, the, the operator setup for that probe length, um, and that entirely amounts to a spatial error. Um, the first probing cycle that, that's conducted on a part, um, you're going to see a, a significantly more accurate performance factor out of um, using a calibration on an ACS-1 than you would using the traditional method. Richard, it's great to be back here at Renishaw in Gloucester, great innovators of metrology solutions. But today we're here to talk about the ACS-1, which is a brand new product. What is it and where does it fit in? So ACS-1 is a calibration device um, for calibrating spindle probes. Spindle probes are um, incredibly repeatable, um, but that repeatability is best utilised when combined with an accurate calibration. Um, Calibration requires uh, an artifact of known size, in this instance a spear, um, and a, a Z datum surface um, to, to calibrate the probe's length. Um, and ACS provides both of those. Now, obviously, you develop a lot of products, but this is probably based on the industry and, and feedback. But what were engineers actually doing before this type of product for a calibration? So, um, previously, uh, it consisted of um, solely a sphere on a mag base. Um, the Renishaw calibration cycles enable you to only have to approximately set the position of the sphere in X and Y, uh, give or take a couple of mil, so by eye is fine. Um, but in Z, that has to be accurately set. Um, and the way that's done is using a calibrated um, tool length, uh, a calibration bar, um, bringing that down onto a sphere, um, offering a feeler gauge of known thickness between the top of the sphere and the bottom of the calibration bar. Um, setting it or parking it to the position that you determine all three parts are in contact um, and then setting that position accordingly on the machine. Um, we've seen that to be quite variable, obviously it's a skilled operation um, and uh, we, we've aimed, to, well, we've completely reduced that, that, that need. So how does the ACS-1 actually improve the process Richard? So ACS-1 provides a lockable uh, datum um, so it completely um, eradicates the need for the manual setup operation using the feeler gauge as we've, as we've said that's the skilled op and comes with some variation. Um, so this one gives you a lockable datum uh, where you bring the test bar down onto the, the movable stage and lock off the, the, the datum, um, obviously uh, very accurate um, and uh, obviously eradicates many health and safety issues as with regards to jogging the hand wheel whilst the door's open and, and having, having intervention. So obviously it's a much quicker process and, and, and safety aspect as well, but um, is there any other unique features about the system? Yeah, so ACS um, has um, two mounting faces for the sphere, um, both at 45 degrees, um, enabling it to be uh, used in, in a number of configurations. It also has a mount, mounting face on the mag base that's provided with the kit, um, front, uh, back and underneath. Uh, which, which means it can be mounted horizontally or vertically, making it ideal for lathes, mills, mill turns and a variety of different machine configurations. Uh, and when you look at the, uh, the actual benefits of this product, what, what would you say is the main USP for this product? So it's, it's entirely accuracy. Um, as I've highlighted in the old method, it comes with quite a bit of variability in terms of um, the, the operator setup for that probe length um, and that entirely amounts to a spatial error. Um, the first probing cycle that, that's conducted on a part, um, you're going to see a, a significantly more accurate performance factor out of um, using a calibration on an ACS-1 than you would using the traditional method. Now you mentioned earlier on that the, 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 the actual ACS-1 is actually available to actually buy now, but for any engineers that want to know a little bit more about this, how, how can they see this in demonstration? Yeah, so I'd advise anyone um, interested to contact your local office um, for more information.